If you have your driving test soon, you might be feeling a little apprehensive. Nerves are perfectly normal and being as prepared as you can be will help to manage these nerves. In this video, we will take you through what will happen on your test day, step by step, to help you feel as prepared as you can be. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And if you find this video interesting, please click the like button as it really helps other people find us. Before test day arrives, it is really important to ensure you have the correct documentation ready. You must have your provisional license ready to take and your theory test pass certificate. If you wear glasses, make sure they are clean and ready. Try and get a good night's sleep and confirm with your driving instructor where and when you will meet. If you are taking your test in your own vehicle, it must be clean, roadworthy and fully insured for you to drive it. Make sure it is clean and presentable with nothing loose on the floor and it has an additional rear view mirror for the examiner to use. Legal L plates must be displayed clearly on the front and back of the vehicle. Most instructors will meet you one hour before your test. This will allow you to practice your manoeuvres and settle your nerves before you get to the test centre. It's a good idea to get to the test centre a little bit before your test time, but not too early, as sitting waiting too long could cause your nerves to escalate. Take this opportunity to go through all the show me tell me questions with your instructor. Even if you remember them, it doesn't hurt just to check and it will also act as a distraction that will help to settle your nerves. As you have driven to the test centre, your mirrors and seat position should be set up correctly. But if you want to just take a moment to sit in the driver's seat and double check, again, this is something else to focus on and help you stay calm. Once you have met your examiner, they will check your eyesight and driving licence. They will explain how the test will work, including how they will direct you and whether you will be using the sat-nav for the independent driving portion of the test. They will then ask you a tell me question and explain that they will ask the show me question later on during the test. The examiner is expecting you to drive safely and legally on a variety of roads and in different traffic conditions. They will give you directions clearly and in good time and you can always ask for them to be repeated. Whilst driving, be sure to stay alert and aware of others around you by using your mirrors correctly and show good awareness and judgement when dealing with other road users. Keep calm and try and maintain a good level of concentration. The examiner is looking for you to drive confidently and smoothly and make decisions independently. At some point during the test, you will be asked to complete a manoeuvre. This will be either the pull up on the right forward bay park, reverse bay park or parallel park manoeuvre. If you have been having lessons with an instructor you should have had plenty of practice to ensure you can consistently complete each manoeuvre to the required standard. The examiner will explain clearly which manoeuvre they would like you to do and what they expect to see. Remember that you must maintain effective observations all around your car during the manoeuvre and react to any hazards you see. There is no need to rush, so take as long as you need to complete the manoeuvre safely. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. 
In addition to a maneuver, you may be asked to carry out the emergency stop routine on your test. The examiner will ask you to pull over at the side of the road and then explain clearly what they would like you to do. Once you resume driving, try to drive normally until the examiner gives you the instruction to stop. Be sure to react promptly and stop the car as quickly as possible while staying in full control. Imagine how you would react if a small child had run out in front of you. Brake very hard until the car has stopped. There is no need to check your mirrors or smooth your braking force as you would normally. The examiner will then say that you won't be doing that again and that you can drive on when you are ready. Finally, remember that you must check both blind spots before pulling away or you will be given a serious fault and fail the whole driving test. The independent driving part of the test will take about 20 minutes and could be at any time during the test route. The examiner will explain whether you will need to follow the sat nav or directions on traffic signs. Follow the directions as well as you can, but remember that the objective is to show that you can stay calm and drive safely at all times. Remember, you will not fail for making a wrong turn, but you will if you make an unsafe manoeuvre in an attempt to stay on the correct route. As in real life, taking a wrong turn and a short detour is far better than driving erratically and causing danger. If you miss a sign or don't understand what the satnav is telling you, just ask the examiner for directions. They will be happy to help. If there is no time to ask, just follow the road ahead as this is usually the easiest and safest option. The examiner will tell you when the independent driving section has finished and they will direct you normally from then on. If you do make a mistake at any point of the test, don't panic. It will more than likely be a minor mistake and doesn't mean you have failed. Remember that you are allowed 15 minor or driving faults during the test, so just keep going. Whilst you are driving, the examiner will be making notes on your driving on their tablet computer. Try not to worry about what they are doing, as they have to record a lot of information during the test. Not just when you have committed a fault, but also which manoeuvre they have asked you to do, or if they did get you to complete an emergency stop. Instead, focus on the road ahead of you so that you can drive as safely as possible. If you would like to see the most common faults that cause driving test fails, click the link above for our separate video. Once you have completed your test route and have arrived back at the test centre, the examiner will complete their paperwork and will give you your result. As long as you haven't accrued 16 or more driving faults or a single serious or dangerous fault, then you have passed your test. It is normally a good idea to have your instructor present for the debrief to listen to the explanation if you have passed. Listen to what the examiner is saying because even if you have passed, you may have made a few minor faults and you could still learn from them and improve your driving beyond test standard. If you have failed, don't worry. Listen to the examiner's explanation and focus on these in your next lesson with your instructor. Carry on having lessons to fix your mistakes and continue to better your driving before your next test. So remember to listen to the examiner's instructions, ask questions if needed, stay calm and don't worry about mistakes and drive confidently and safely at all times.
If you found this video interesting then please visit our channel as there are over 150 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.